Hello! We have seen on my last tutorial called How to set up Cubase 5 the setup of the project, devices and metronome. Now I'm going to show you a few more tips and tricks to have a better use of Cubase 5. Open a new project with a key command Ctrl N for a PC, Command N for a Mac and select the empty project you can find in the more list of the project assistant. Select your project folder or create a new one and hit OK. Now we are going to have a look on different but interesting options. We can find another menu file preferences for our PC, menu files, Cubase on Mac. In the preferences window, selecting an option in the left list allows you to set your preferences in the right window. First, select General in the left list. For your personal information, if you need to practice French, you can select French in the language pop-up menu. C'est pas pareil, mais ça fonctionne quand même. By default, autosave is selected. This means your project will be saved every 15 minutes in the same project folder with a BAK extension and with a maximum of 10 backup. So if you are working on a big project, after two hours and a half work, you will have 10 times your project on your hard disk. Maybe it's a lot. Adjust the interval on the maximum backup files as you like. Note that if you need to open a backup file, open a project with a key command Ctrl O for PC or Command O for Mac. In this window, open the pop-up menu Files of Type and select the extension BAK. All your backup project appears, select the one you need to open. For a better comprehension of the next preferences, create a stereo audio track. Right click in a track list, select Add audio track, and set the configuration on stereo, then click OK. Import a stereo loop from your hard disk using the file menu, Import, Audio File. In the inspector list, select Channel. Let's have a look on the pan control. The pan control in a mixer are used to position a channel between the left and the right side of the stereo spectrum. If you drag completely the pan control on the right, you will play your audio track on the right side. If not, something wrong on your hardware connection. If you want to select the center pan position, hold on control on a PC, command on a Mac and click on the pan control. This will set the pan control in the center position. If you want to make fine pan adjustment, hold on shift when you move the pan control. In case for any reason you need to check your mix with an audio track in the center pan position, 
you don't need to move the pan control. Keep shift and alt pressed for a PC, shift and option for a Mac, and click on the pan setting of the selected audio track. This will bypass the panning. To deactivate the panning bypass, simply press shift and alt and click again. The default mode in Cubase for the pan control is called Stereo Balance Panner. If you right click in the pan control field for a stereo audio channel, you can select two other pan modes. If you select Dual Panner, there will be two pan controls with the upper controlling pan for the left channel and the lower controlling pan for the right channel. This allows you to set pan independently for the left and right channels. Not, then you can reverse the left and the right channels. If you select Stereo Combined Panner, the left and right positions are shown as two lines with a blue-gray area between them. In this mode, the left and right pan controls are linked and can be moved left and right like a single pan control. You can set pan independently for the left and right channels. Hold on Alt for a PC, Option for a Mac, and drag the corresponding pan control. To position the left and the right pan control on the full stereo spectrum, hold on control for a PC, command for a Mac, and click in the pan control field. Once you have practiced and selected the pan mode you want for your audio tracks, open the Preferences menu, select in the left list VST. In the right window, specify your default stereo panel mode in the pop-up menu. Monitoring means listening to the input signal during recording. 
if you're not using an external monitoring, you have the choice between SEO direct monitoring or VA Cubase. To activate SEO direct monitoring, if your audio hardware is SEO compatible, open the device setup on the devices menu and activate the direct monitoring checkbox on the page of your audio hardware. When SEO Direct Monitoring is activated, you can select an Auto Monitoring mode in the Preferences under VST on the right list. Open the pop-up menu and select Manual. This option allows you to turn input monitoring on or off by clicking the Monitor button in the Inspector or in the track list. Open the Preferences and now select While Record Enabled. You will hear the audio source connected to the channel input whenever the track is record enabled. Note that by default, record is enabled on selected track. You have access to this option in the Preferences, Editing, under the Project and Mixer page. Back to VST, if you select the option While Record Running, the input monitoring will be switched on only during recording. If you hit Play, monitoring stay off. Now if you hit record, monitoring is on. And now if you hit play, monitoring is off, you can listen what you have recorded. The last option is called tape machine style. The input monitoring is switched on in the stop mode and during recording, but not during playback. That's it for now. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Goodbye.